Hey everyone, my name is Bo, and today we are going to be learning how to create a pen test lab on our computer so that we can learn how to hack web applications. The way that we are going to do this is we are going to install Kali Linux in a VM inside of VirtualBox and then run Docker inside of that VM to host purposefully vulnerable web applications so that we can learn how to find vulnerabilities. Hey guys, next day Bo here, and I do apologize. Um, while I was editing this video, I realized that I never actually talked about the three purposefully vulnerable um, web applications that we're going to be installing, so let's do that now. The first one is called DVWA, um, and it's a PHP MySQL app, so very standard, um, but kind of an older technology. Um, yeah, so we're going to be practicing on a PHP app for that one. The next one is OWASP WebGoat, and this one is a Java web application. Um, so we will be finding vulnerabilities uh, in Java applications that way. And then the last one also put out by OWASP is Juice Shop, and it um, utilizes a lot more modern technologies, uh, Node.js, Express, Angular. Um, so this one is probably the most modern of the three, but it's good for bug bounties and pen testing. You're going to be running into all three of these and more, um, but these are the three that we are going to be installing for our purposes here. And again, Sorry about that, let's get back to the video. So the first thing that we need to do for that is check and see if virtualization is turned on. So how we do that is we hit Control Shift Escape on our keyboard or your other favorite way to open up Task Manager. And then we can go to the Performance tab and then make sure that we are clicked on CPU and then we can see that virtualization is enabled. Now, if it's not enabled, you may have to go into your computer's BIOS and turn on virtualization. And every computer and every motherboard manufacturer has a different way of doing that, so you are gonna have to Google for your specific computer. So then, after we confirm that virtualization is enabled. We will then go to virtualbox.org to download VirtualBox for our OS. Okay, so what we're going to do is do it for Windows hosts. Current version is 6.1. We'll wait for that to download. And then we can just go through the installation. We will click yes on the network. You may lose connection. That's how it goes. Once VirtualBox is installed, we will need to download a copy of Kali Linux that is specifically made for VirtualBox and that can be found for free at kali.org. Okay. And then we can go to the Offensive Security VM download page, or you can just click on the link in the description below. So we are using VirtualBox, not VMware, and we want to click the 64-bit version. And you can either download it directly or use your favorite BitTorrent client and download it that way. Depending on your internet connection, this may take a while. Once the VM is done downloading, we can go back to VirtualBox 
and click the import button. From here we need to browse to wherever we downloaded it to. And then we'll go into the OVA folder and then click on the OVA file. Hit next. From here we can just click import, we can change some of these settings later. Great, once it's done importing we can click on settings and then we can check on some of this stuff, that's great. Um, I'm gonna up the memory to be a little bit higher. What do you think? Probably eight gigs is probably good enough for now. Processor, um, I'm gonna bump it up to four, but these settings are kind of based on what your hardware is that you have. And then from here we can click OK. And then we'll click Start. The default credentials for Kali is both Kali and Kali. And now we have our VM up and running. So the second part of this is we are going to download a script that I wrote that will install Docker and then install our purposefully vulnerable web application. So it will come with three. It will come with um, DVWA, WebGoat, and Juice Shop. All three that I like. So to do that, we'll up open up our terminal and then we will paste in this which will be found in the description and I have to do control shift V to paste in instead of just control V and then it will download and then as with every script that you download from the internet, you should either cat it out or nano it or somehow view the script to make sure that you know what it does and it's not doing anything harmful. I already know it's not doing anything harmful because I wrote it. And then we need to make it executable. Okay, and then we can run it uh, the first time, we actually have to run it twice. So the first time we run it, it's just gonna install Docker and do some other checks um, and make sure that it's everything's running properly. We can do dot slash script name, Kali once again. Definitely change that after this is done. That should be the first thing you do. As you can see, the script is checking that Git is running and things like that. So now it's just gonna download Docker. And then once Docker is installed, it will say Docker was not installed previously, but it should be installed now. Please restart the script by running uh, the previous command again. So dot slash weblab is set up dot sh. And now it will pull down WebGoat, Juice Shop, and DVWA. And this last part's a little bit important. As you can see, they are each running on different ports, okay? So DVWA is just running on your typical port 80. WebGoat. Um, there's technically WebGo and WebWolf on here are running on port 8080 which may mess up your burp or zap um, but 
will take care of that. And then running on port 3000 is Juice Shop. So let's double check and make sure that all of these are running. And actually the thing that we need to do is do a quick if config 172.17.0.1. Sweet, we have DVWA. First we need to do setup.php. Okay, create slash restart database. Great, so that's working. We can then check on port 8080. Oh, I forgot. And then we need to do web goat and the W and the G have to be capitalized. Boom, that one works. And then for port 3000, should have juice shop. Great, that's awesome. Now let's make sure that we can have burp set up properly. It's fine for now. Except uh, I'm not gonna update it right now. This version should be fine. And then if we head on over to the proxy options, we can highlight this, see how it's running on 8080. We'll edit that. We're, we'll just run on 8081, should be fine. We'll make sure that the proxy is running. Go back to the intercept tab and click open browser. Turn that off real quick. And then we can do the same thing and go to, uh, let's say juice shop first. Yep, seems to work. Yep. Great. So there we have it. We have our virtual box set up with our Kali Linux VM. We have Docker set up with our three purposefully vulnerable web applications so that we can start to learn how to hack on those. Which brings us to the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I will see you guys next time.